I mean, I think if you look at the relationship we've built with Boeing over the last, uh, since uh, I think our first order for new aircraft at Boeing in 1996, you know, 90 uh, plus percent of all those aircraft have been delivered on the, on the delivery day. You know, Boeing has been challenged in the last number of years, firstly with the max grounding and then with uh, COVID, as our entire industry has been challenged. Um, but I think Boeing's record, if you look at our fleet today of 540 aircraft, we take delivery of another 110 aircraft over the next two years. Um, more than 90, 95% of those aircraft have been delivered bang on time. Uh, so we have a high degree of confidence uh, that Boeing will work its way out of the... You know, and they, I, I think Boeing deserve great credit. And I was publicly very critical of Boeing uh, in the autumn of last year over these delivery delays. I think yeah. Dave, Stan, and I think particularly the teams in Wichita and in Seattle have done a phenomenal job catching up on uh, these deliveries. And uh, there has been supply chain challenges. Uh, there has been huge COVID uh, issues, you know, in places like Seattle, where you have a large production facility. Uh, and I think, you know, our record over a 20, 30 year of the Boeing relationship has been great aircraft being built uh, to very high quality and being delivered on time. So I have nothing but confidence, particularly, you know, since we're not the delivery customer in this case, uh, we will not be taking the first of these aircraft. I'd be very happy to take the first of these aircraft if Calhoun would get me some. Um, <laughs> but I have no doubt that by the time we get to 2027 through 2033, all of these aircraft will deliver on time. And if Boeing can deliver a little bit earlier than that, we'll take them earlier. And I think, you know, I think, we should also recognize, while we have our friends and colleagues from GE and CFM here in the room, the engine manufacturers have faced huge Herculean challenges in the last year or two, uh, also uh, delivering on those supply, uh, fixing those supply chain challenges, and they are delivering phenomenal engines. I mean, we've now been an operator of the A200 for the last three years. It is incredible uh, that you know, we can deliver 4% more passengers and burn 16% less fuel. And I think it's not widely recognized outside the airline industry what the new technology is delivering in terms of sustainability and uh, delivering on an environmental agenda. I know of no other uh, area or field of transport, whether it's marine, shipping, road transport, is delivering this technological revolutionary change. And I think our engine supplier partners deserve great credit in that as well. Totally agree. I, the only perspective I might add is that Michael does know what he's talking about, and a lot of uh, comments are made about our public commentary. The meetings that we have with respect to delivery promises and kept and watching the supply chain are usually held in our factory with Michael present and Neil present and a team of people present who watch every airplane move through and they watch the progression. They, they know what they're talking about. They see the supply constraints. They don't like them and either do we, but we're working transparently and um, he knows what he's talking about. Although okay. my children wouldn't necessarily agree with you, but nevertheless. <laughs> <laughs>